Hispanics have a history of being a sophisticated, resourceful and progressive people. They are as diverse in their ethnicity as they are in their accomplishments. Their innovation and technological advancements date back thousands of years to the monumental pyramids of the Mayans and Aztecs. Technology, however, hasn't always been in the form of cell phones, iPods or the Internet. With all of our modern-day gadgets, it's hard for some of us, especially the younger generation, to understand that at the beginning of civilization, technology was defined by the methods people used to build housing, gather food and create social orders. So, in those terms, the Mayans and Aztecs were extremely progressive civilizations, making significant contributions to mathematics, science and engineering. The Mayans were brilliant mathematicians. They were one of the first to design a numbering system that included the value of zero, which is similar to the numbering system we use today. They were also the first to create a calendar. It was the Mayan astronomers that concluded that a solar year was approximately 365 days, which is where our annual calendar system we use today was originally derived from. They were also highly evolved crop producers. They had a system which is referred to as slash and burn. This is where the fields would be left unplanted for eight to ten years and then replanted after they burnt the vegetation that had grown on them in the meantime. The ash worked as a fertilizer which produced more food. The Mayans and the Aztecs were both superior craftsmen who used their engineering skills to create their grand structures and pyramids. These pyramids required precise and sophisticated planning and served multiple functions. Most people are familiar with the sacrifices that were performed, but something they may not know is that because these pyramids could be seen above the jungle, they also served as landmarks. Like the Mayans, the Aztecs were technologically advanced when it came to their agricultural system. They were able to sustain anywhere between 300,000 and 700,000 people from the crops they produced within the city and surrounding areas. To be able to provide food for that many people during those times was remarkable. But what's even more amazing is that Tenochtitlan, which is known today as Mexico City, was surrounded by swamplands. As we all know, swamplands aren't the most inhabitable places. So the Aztecs built chinampas, which are man-made islands. They did this by digging canals in the swamp area and then piling the mud into islands and reinforcing them with stakes and vines. They then used those chinampas to not only grow food, but to increase the size of the island. These canals they dug out were then used for vast transportation and their rich trading system. But innovation and exploration didn't end with the Aztecs and Mayans. Jesse Walter Fuchs continued to contribute to progress. He was one of the early scientists who guided the frontier for a number of archaeological explorations for the Smithsonian's Bureau of American Ethnology. He unveiled information about the lifestyles and physical characteristics of the indigenous people of Puerto Rico through his excavations. He was also one of the most important and active figures to not only examine the ruins of various cultures in the American Southwest, but effectively persuaded the government to preserve these sites. He was later appointed chief of the Bureau and worked for the Smithsonian Institute up until two years before his death. Moving forward to World War II, Luis Alvarez played a huge part in the victory of the Allies. He developed a radar system that helped planes land from the ground when visibility was too poor for pilots to see. Without this, planes wouldn't be able to land in bad weather. He also developed the detonators for setting off the plutonium bomb that eventually ended the war, and he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1968. If it wasn't for him, World War II may have had a completely different outcome. And thanks to people like him, we have a strong national security system, which is of major concern to many people today. 
the environment, is another issue that has people talking. You hear everyone telling you to go green. Well, Dr. Mario Molina, a native of Mexico, is helping to create a cleaner earth for us all. He's been an honoree of the Hispanic Scientist of the Year and was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1995 for his work in atmospheric chemistry and the effect of chlorofluorocarbons. For his work in atmospheric chemistry and the effect of chlorofluorocarbons on the depletion of the ozone layer. This was the first Nobel Prize in this area and his discoveries led to an international environmental treaty which bans the production of industrial chemicals that harm the ozone layer. And he continues to be one of the world's leading experts on chemical pollution and how it affects our environment. Another hot topic is stem cell research. Alejandro Sanchez Alvarado, a native of Venezuela, is leading the pack in this area. He came to the U.S. with minimal English skills, overcame the language barrier, and is now producing groundbreaking work in stem cell research. Almost single-handedly, he has created a powerful new model system to study the molecular mechanics of regeneration. And that's something that will have every woman in America smiling, because this research is studying how to slow down the aging process. Speaking of health and women, the highest ranking doctor in the U.S. government is the Surgeon General, and Dr. Antonia Novello was chosen by President Bush to fulfill this position. She is not only the first Hispanic to become the Surgeon General, but she is also the first woman to become Surgeon General. Another first is Dr. Helen Ochoa. Dr. Helen Ochoa, she is the first Hispanic female astronaut. She has extensive hours in space, totaling almost 1,000, and has been on four space flights. She's also received numerous awards for her achievements and technical contributions to the world, and her dream is to one day build a space station, which she believes is critical to human exploration in space. In the field of math, Jamie Escalante was a trailblazer. He began teaching math to failing high school students in a gang-ridden area of L.A. Because of him, there was such a drastic improvement in the students' scores on the Calculus Advanced Placement exam that the group was accused of cheating by the Educational Testing Service. He is one of the most famous teachers in the U.S. and even had a movie, Stand and Deliver, produced about him. And to this day, teachers still seek out his outstanding teaching methods. When it comes to engineering, Adalio T. Sanchez is making great strides. He was awarded Hispanic Engineer of the Year in 2007. His ingenuity in engineering saved IBM Corporation an overwhelming $135 million. He said, I want us to be recognized as key contributors to our country's future. And indeed they will, with the right education and the right motivation. Hispanics will continue to contribute to the growth and exploration in this nation and beyond.